looked super good. Uh, we're going to see some great movement from it, so I'm excited. Looks like Tandori and Sushi are talking over maybe their stage bands here. Looks like they're happy to go Rock Ball to start off with. Oh no, so we banned Rock Ball, okay, okay. straight to Fire Capital. So I like this for both teams. You got both a really light character and a character that might struggle with recovering. Yeah. So it might be important to split up these teams as much as possible here, which is what we're seeing on both sides of the screen. But yeah, when it comes to the actually 1v1 aspect, I don't know which team is quite better. They're very close together on individual skill. So yep. because of that, I could say that team aspect is huge here. Whoever has the most energy will probably take this. We've end. swapped opponents a couple times here as well, so it looks like they're willing to trade it up if they're feeling feeling like they're in a rough spot. If anything, both Forsburn and Maple are difficult for Craig 1v1, so I think uh, that Jesse and Dunk are probably going to be working as a team as much as possible. Good um, good fair from Dunk there. The drop down throw into the fair there just pushes Tandori off without any resources and secures that kill. Yeah, two early kills, and right now this edge guard versus Tandori, very good by Dunk, even though he can't see very well because of the camera, mm. but kept it going anyways, and ooh, Tando ran out of resources. That's not good. And Jesse is holding his own against Sushi so far as well. His ground game's been pretty good so far, and nice up air, but he does have that bit of smoke there, and they didn't quite figure out how to do anything about that. And yeah, really difficult to see what's going on these sides of the screens there, but both players did make it back on stage. Dunk going to the wall. And okay, good pillarless, getting back a bit faster. Not sure if he had his pillar, but yeah, just chose not to use it. Yeah, I think he's just choosing yeah. to use pillarless just because it's a quicker method to get back to stage. He can get back to save Jezier faster. And right now, uh, Dunk at 170, anything he can do now is a huge plus. Like, he should have been hold dead this stock a while ago. Yeah. More benefit you're going to see from it in a double exactly. situation where you can really rack on the percent or save your teammates from rough positions. This team synergy by Dinko Esports right now is actually wild. Oof. Ooh, 179, that... Sushi survived this fair and Dunks accidentally messed up the, the edge guard there with a rock thrower onto, yeah. onto Jess. Can I talk about that spacing with Dunk managing to get a down smash on a down smashing maple? <laughs> like, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Yeah, definitely not a risk that a lot of players would go for, but well, it makes if sense you can get it, you can get it. Yeah, of course. If you're at 200, any risk you can take is good. Because if you if you trade a stock at that point, it is a win, 100%. We're seeing Sushi holding his last stock on 220. It looks like Tandori had to take it. And with two stocks apiece on the other team here, it's going to be very difficult for him. Yeah, I think Tandori had some definite problems with uh, getting gimped. Dunk kept him off stage very solidly. Looks like he's had no problem playing the 2v1 here, but he's got a long way to go and eventually something like that's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. enough pressure that you're going to be forced into a situation where they're just going to take that stock. Alright, so that was very dominant for uh, Dinko Esports. We're going to have to see if the team can kind of change up what they're doing for Sushi and Tando. I don't know exactly what they should be doing instead, though. Well, Jesse and Dunk look quite pleased, but... Sushi's sort of talking it over with Tandori there. Maybe he's figured out something that they can use in the next game. Yeah. I just know Tando's probably going to want to stay center stage better, but that's way easier said than done. Yeah, of course. Not sure. A lot of the strengths that Maple has that really shine in singles, in doubles, you're going to struggle a lot. Yeah. Absolutely. It's really her neutral game that's everything, and her combos, though flashy and precise, usually take a little while. Uh, so... Because of that, if you have an opponent getting in your way all the time, it's way more underwhelming. Looks like we've got rid of Aramata and Spirit Tree there. So, um, no gimps, I guess. I was thinking Spirit Tree might actually help with Tandori's recovery as well, which might be another That's reason true. why they're trying to eliminate it, but also really small blast zones. Yeah. Might be scared of some of the ups combos from Maple as well. Killing I'd say them that a bit early. Maybe since uh, Duncan Jezier. Oh! That was smart. Pillar sent all four of them up there. <laughs> yeah, I th I'd say that maybe uh, Dunk and Jezier just want to try and take away any volatility just because they did so well the first time. Just has landed a few straight hits on Dunk so far, so his percent has really racked up quite early into this game. And it seems like they're out to get each other. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a great up smash. Really early kill. Looks like he had sign there to sort of cover Sushi on the yeah. sides there too, so... Really smart play to finish that stock. 
And really, early stock taking is just one of the biggest game changers in Devils. That Nero to up air was interesting from Dunk 2 from the parry. Pushed him up, didn't quite take the stock. Okay. This is Dunk off stage. closer though. It looks like we've stopped opponents here, so perhaps they're thinking Sushi's going to be able to land some of these edge guards that perhaps Tandori cannot. I'm, I'm not sure. It's possible, but so far Dunk's still living for a very, very long time. Sealed the sealed the soft air with uh, the ups from Tandori. Okay. Back here to get Sushi off. 173, so low percent. Yeah, bo ah. both Sushi and Dunk stock kinking very well right now. Whoa! A lot went on there. <laughs> that was super quick damage for sure. Dunk's really trying to hold on to this stock and just get his chip damage in any time that there's an opening for him. Yeah, right now he's just putting constant hitboxes out so that it's harder to get. Rock pull from the top there was risky. Lost him that stock. Yeah. But last of all, yeah. So right now we still see, uh, even though the stock count is even, a bit more percent on Sushi and Tando, but that could change any moment. But another great up smash kill. I've noticed that Dunk is pulling these pillars out as well as a way to sort of shut down anyone up beneath him. Yeah. Or maybe split up the teams a little bit. It's a good get off me option. Ooh, down strong into the rock pool there as well. Tando is very high percent. He's going to be very scared. Bear Ooh. bounces him off the rock there and Tando is off stage. I'm not really sure what resource he has left, but Still had tether. tether, yeah. Really needed in that situation. As long Sushi's as applying the pressure to Jesse here off stage here. Yeah, as well. long as Tando can stay alive, this is doable. Very doable. The wrap there. Ooh. Ooh. Doesn't quite seal the kill, but... Yeah, I like this. Sushi should definitely be the one approaching. Another good forward strong there. Wow. Doesn't know how to take the stock, so... Sushi... Okay. Now has to deal with the 2v1, but if you can get the early kill on Dunk, this is very doable. Yeah. That rock almost helped him, but... Nice. Bounces off Jezia straight into Sushi, who just trying to run kept through it. Sushi away. That was super good. Like we, everybody knew that it's Sushi.